integrate square root of tangent x plus square root of cotangent x dx. You may use the chapters below to jump to the sections of the thinking process and different parts of the detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today, I want to share with you this seemingly difficult integral. However, the techniques are pretty much elementary. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to change the two terms, tangent x and cotangent x, into two fractions. So we have square root of sine x over cosine x plus square root of cosine x over sine x. Let's combine the two fractions together. We have a common denominator, the square root of sine x times cosine x. And the numerator is sine x plus cosine x. So we get a sum in the numerator and a product in the denominator. Next, recognize that the denominator is actually the double angle formula sine 2x equals to 2 sine x times cosine x. And if we differentiate sine 2x dx, then we'll get 2 times cosine 2x. Moreover, the formula for cosine 2x is equal to cosine square x minus sine square x, which can be factorized as cosine x plus sine x times cosine x minus sine x. And we can see that the first term is actually the numerator of the integrand. In other words, the first part of the solutions will be to express the integrand in terms of sine 2x and cosine 2x. Next, we will use the substitution that u equals to sine 2x to change the integral from x to u. And finally, we will obtain the following form of the integral 1 over the square root of a square minus u square du. So we can apply a very typical substitution that u equals to a sine theta. So that's all about the outline of the thinking process. Let's jump to the detailed solutions. In part 1, we will express the integrand in terms of sine 2x and cosine 2x. So the integral is equal to square root of sine x over cosine x plus square root of cosine x over sine x dx. Combine the two fractions together, we'll have a common denominator square root of sine x times cosine x and the numerator is sine x plus cosine x dx. Next, in the denominator, we'll have the double angle formula which is half sine 2x. And for the numerator, let's rearrange the two terms as cosine x plus sine x this is in the form of a plus b. Let's multiply a must b, that means cosine x must sine x. And of course, we we'll have to also divide the same terms so that the integrand is unchanged. And we we'll have dx at the back. So in the denominator, the square root of 1 over 2, take it out as square root 2, which is a constant outside integral. And then we'll have the square root of sine 2x. And for the term of cosine x minus sine x in the denominator, we put it inside a square root. So we'll have square and square root. The term inside bracket is cosine x minus sine x. And in the numerator, we'll have the form a plus b times a minus b, which is difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. Then we'll have cosine square x 
mass sine square x dx. So in the next step, we'll have square root 2 and then integrate. For the numerator, we'll have cosine 2x. And for the denominator, we'll have square root of sine 2x. And let's expand the square terms. So we'll have cosine square x minus 2 cosine x sine x plus sine square x dx. We're pretty close to the form of the integrand in terms of sine 2x and cosine 2x only. This is equal to square root of 2 integrate cosine 2x over the square root of sine 2x and for the terms inside the bracket cosine square x plus sine square x is 1 2 cosine x sine x is again sine 2x so we obtain the form and we are ready for the substitution in part 2 In part 2, we will use the substitution u equals to sine 2x to change the integral from x to u. Now we differentiate both sides to obtain du equals to cosine 2x times 2 dx. That means cosine 2x dx is equal to 1 half du. So this can be put inside the original integral to substitute these two parts. So now we have square root 2 integrate 1 over 2 du. And the denominator is u times 1 minus u. So simplify a little bit. We have a 1 over square root 2 integrate 1 over square root of negative u square plus u du. We can see that inside the square root, there is a quadratic expression. So we'll complete the square. 1 over square root 2 integrate 1 over square root of negative u square minus u. In order to complete the square, we'll have to add 1 over 4 inside the bracket and then adding 1 over 4 outside. So we'll obtain the form 1 over square root 2 integrate 1 over the square root of we write the quadratic expression in the form the first one 1 over 4 is changed to 1 over 2 square and for the second one the large bracket will have u minus 1 half whole square du. So up to here, we are ready for the next part to perform the trigonometric substitution. In the final part of the detailed solutions, we will use the trigonometric substitution. Let u minus 1 half equals to 1 half sine theta. Differentiate both sides, we have u is equal to 1 half cosine theta d theta. And the term in the denominator is actually 1 half square minus u minus 1 half square equals to 1 half square minus 1 half sine theta whole square, which is 1 half square cosine square theta. So putting all this inside the integral to change from u to theta. Now it is 1 over square root 2 integrate 1 over the square root of 1 half square cosine square theta. du, the differential is 1 half cosine theta d theta. So we can cancel out 1 half cosine theta and the integral is simply 1 over square root 2 integrate d theta, which is 1 over square root 2 theta plus 
C. Where C is a constant. And finally, we have to change theta back to u and then from u to x. So go back to the substitution here. Multiply both sides by 2. We have 2u minus 1 is equal to sine theta. So for the answer, it is 1 over square 2. Theta is arc sine bracket 2u minus 1 plus c. And finally, the first substitution is u equals to sine 2x. So the final answer is 1 over square 2 arc sine bracket 2 sine 2x minus 1 plus c. So we have solved this amazing integral. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.